My family is one big crazy family. Come on, put your phone back on the radio. This y'all party, get it cooking. Let's go. And our family just been together like we stick on glue. It could be a party, everybody showing up. It could be a dinner, everybody showing up. Hey twin, how you doing, girl? And I have a twin. My sister, my twin, Demetriana, is very caring. She can feel how I feel. Like, say if she get her heart broken, I'm gonna feel it. I live with my grandma and my auntie and her kids, and I love them. But it's like, I gotta go. I mean, it's too many people in one house. Here's me. It's four bedrooms and 11 people living in one house. So I wanna take that stress off my grandma, cause it's extra people you feeding. So I need to get my own apartment. Move out on my own. <laughs> you start school already? Let me tell you about my house. I got, I got, I got you through it. It's over with. Yeah. I got straight A's right around. I got an A plus, I got a B plus, I got a C plus. School is important because without a diploma or a degree, you will not get in no job. And I would like to start a career, something that I can make some out of my life. And that's what my mama and my grandma want to see. It's important to my mom and my grandma because they never got the chance to experience graduating out of high school or going off to college. So I think they don't want us to follow their footsteps. They just wanted us to just go off and do what's best for us. Me and my sister was the first one to go off to college. We went to Benedict College in Columbia, South Carolina. College was really fun. But I had my times when I struggled, I had my breakdown. You think you got all the support, but when in reality, you see that life really hit you. Like you by yourself, you on your own. And I wasn't ready to be on my own at the time. I realized that I was coming back to Chicago is when it was springtime. Everybody left campus. I'm in my dorm alone. I was just thinking, like, I can't do it. When I got back to Chicago, my mom was like, what you mean you ain't going back? She was just like, why? And I told her, it's not for me. At first, she was mad, but at the same time, she was, like, understanding, like, why, why we really left. Well, I just want y'all to remain focused. I got to do this. I got to do that. I gotta do my work. I can't lack. No lacking at all. I just need for y'all to do what y'all gotta do and, and get to it. You know what I'm saying? It's my mom is a very strong woman. She's been through a lot. She had her kids at a young age, so it was a lot of responsibility. She don't even think about herself. She just think about her kids. That's all she think about, no matter if we older. She always gonna have that same love. Like, she always, it get irritating sometimes, because she just be worried. She's scared. She's scared. So she always stepping in. I want my own space, you know? I want privacy. But you got to find something yeah. that within your budget, because, baby, market rent is high. Yes. She always made sure we had the education. Like, she's very hard on education because there's something she didn't ever get the chance to experience. I mean, she didn't graduate from high school. She didn't go off to college. So that's just a gift to her, like, to show her that we're going to finish for you. Like, I don't want my kids to feel like they stuck in a trap. I want them to go out there and do what they got to do and work 
and earn their way up and be successful. Just live a life better than what I live. Exactly. It's hard, you know what I'm saying? Because sometimes they get discouraged, but I got to keep pushing and keep pushing and keep pushing until they get it. They say, go hard or go home. Exactly. And right now, you got to go hard. They have pushed me to go, but I just can't be away from my family for a long period of time. I'm afraid of just being away from my family that's going to hold me back from doing what I have to do to leave the hood. If you want to be successful, I want to be successful. I mean, you're going to make a change. You're going to do what you got to do, and I got to do what I got to do. I got to be better. Sometimes I do have doubts, but then again, I can't let not stop what I need to overcome. I got to go get and do it. I got to finish it. North Lundell is a community. It's like a lot of history in it. They love to do a lot of stuff, like have block club parties for students, for kids, back to school. You look like your daddy, boy. And that's what North Lundell is about, like helping out one another, being together, doing things, and just having fun. We stayed here for like six, seven years. Yeah. When I was walking on my old street, I ran into one of the ladies that just speak to everybody. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, my little songbirds. <laughs> she called us the little songbirds because me and my sister will sing our life away every morning going to school. But you two were like backpacks on your back, your earplugs in, but you were singing. You all were just so joyful, like now. <laughs> we was happy going to school with each other because it was just a lot of fun. I love school. But you stood in there, look at you. And it's what, like, and this is your third year? Yes. Girl, go ahead. This is wonderful. Oh, my Lord. And you from the hood? From the hood. Girl, go <laughs> But yeah, girl, you can do this. So by her looking at us, like, these young ladies love school. They going to be some. And that's something she told us, y'all going to be some. And it was really a motivation, like, somebody out there looking looking at us, thinking we're going to be better, so we might as well go scrap for success and, and still go to school. We're here. Whenever you all come, we are here. Okay. I ain't seeing you. You too, girl. Come back. You had masturbation today, yeah. right? I'm coming back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Yeah. 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 Oh, I love you all so much. We love you too. And I'm so encouraged to see that you all are encouraged <laughs> about school and that you all are encouraged to stay there and to hang in there, OK? I love you all so, so much. <laughs> I do. Oh, my little stuff. See y'all. Don't stop. Don't stop. Yeah. Yeah. There are also negative things in North Lundia. The violence, the gang members. There's a lot of games in North Lundia, and we don't know how to stop that, so it's just a lot of games. That's the bad part. It, they killing each other. They killing each other. A lot of people don't have money. It's like people be struggling a lot. That's all they know is North Lundell. They know the hood so much, they don't want to get out of it. Going to college, that helps you see the world so much better. Like, it really helped me because I don't, I don't like depending on nobody. Mm -hmm. Lady is a person that I can always go to whenever I need something, whenever I'm um, going through something. Lady is always there by my side. And when I was in college, that <laughs> built my backbone. That is why I go hard the way I go hard now. Because I don't want nobody saying, oh, you want to have that if it want. No, I got that because of me. me. Yeah. She's somebody I look up to all the time because she scribe for success and she a hard worker. I let the wrong thing distract me. Like, I let other things, like, pull me down, which pull my grades down, which pull my confidence down, which pull my motivation down. But I didn't stop. Right. I kept going. Even when you have bumps in your road or even when you feel like you just can't go to the next step, you got to keep going. 
And I'm gonna stop talking because I'm finna cry. <laughs> she was my support back in Chicago, and I was like, I'm gonna go back. I'm going back. This is where I need to be. I feel good that I actually came back because I have support. I didn't have that when I was back in South Carolina. I didn't know what I was doing down there, so now I can have the support I need to get where I'm at. I learned from my mistakes I did in South Carolina. I had a whole year to reflect on that. I grew a lot. I'm giving college another try. I got to do better. I got to become better. Because I know my family counting on me. They really counting on me to like get that degree. So I know I got I to gotta do it. I got to come back hard. My vlogs, my hood, my city. We call it M3. It's basically an organization, like a nonprofit organization that take like students to travel the world, to learn new experience, to try new things, to get outside of their neighborhood. Y'all want to wave to everybody? Okay. Hey guys, we back. We made it to the, um, well, we finna go selling. We gotta show them. Yeah, we going selling. Today we going selling downtown Lake Michigan. We're gonna sell y'all. Yeah. You but y'all know we're doing everything. They just there to like guide us. It's so much fun. I whipped that boat last time. I ain't mean to. I'm we almost scared. tipped, a tipped bit. over a little bit. I'm good enough. Are oh, oh, we going? Okay, and we turn around and y'all flipped over. Cause I have license. And you stay close nearby, please. Well, gotta be tight. My girlfriend is India. I miss the boat tip over. Yeah, if I fell, you gonna come get me? No. She's so sassy. I got my <laughs> driver's license, not a boat license. I really love her and how fun she is and how how she's so caring. She's like a mother. And a girlfriend that I like your mother, she's the one, so. You gonna let us drive? Oh yeah, uh, hell no, the whole time. Like she care about your future more than you care about your own self. Like she, Love school too, and having that connection with her, like, that's my baby for real. We with Sandy, come on. We're gonna be with Sandy. Um, this is the, these are the Colgate 26s. We have two main sales. I never done selling before. I don't even like getting in the pool in five feet, and I'm thinking I'm drowning. It's like oh. no, I like your kids. Thank you. Kids Oh, back. Okay now. Okay now. And uh, just throw them below. Make sure I don't drop it. I'm holding it too okay. tight. Don't kill them. Indian, I'm hands off right now. Indian's got it. She's doing good. You're doing good. You're doing good. And yeah, and now you guys can start to raise the sail. Keep, oh, keep, oh. I don't know if you guys can feel it, but we're actually moving now. I feel it. I feel it. I was scared like it was going to tip over. A boat go fast. We going too fast, going too deep. If I fall in it, I was just scared. Oh, you're so cute. Turn around. Say cheese. OK. I just had to push my fear in the back and had just overcome it. And I started putting my, my feet in the water. And it was okay. It was okay. <laughs> we all the way. Ooh, watch. We tipped. <laughs> we tipped it too much. Cause I'm about to fall. Okay, put your phone down, Sasha. You're going up wind. You're going up wind. That is the correct terminology. Good job. I like that. Let me go call your mama right quick. Everybody else had to take control of it one by one. And when it came to my time, I was like, if I steal them the wrong way, if we flip over, <laughs> it's my fault. Push it the opposite way. You can pull it up, too. I was a little scared, but then when I got the hang of it, it felt cool. I was like, oh, I can sell a boat? You're the, you're the skipper, so you got to figure out how to maintain a straight course. We're going too fast. 
That's the way I learned. Just get out there. No matter how scared you is, you got to do it because it's just a uh, step forward in your life. Chicago just so big. And looking back on it, it's just like amazing to me that somebody just take us out of our community and just show us different things and a new experience. I never had the chance to go outside my neighborhood. My goal is to get out of North Londale and have better opportunity in another city or another country. I want to get, get out of the neighborhood. I want to get my family out of the neighborhood.